Welcome to another DivHunts tutorial. Today, we are going to review a very useful feature on this platform – selectors. Let's begin by selecting this button here and opening the instance menu. Immediately, you'll notice the target field, which indicates whether you're targeting a tag or a class. Right below that, you have a switch for standard and custom selectors. For now, we're going to stick with the standard option. After that, we encounter the state field. When you open it, you'll notice various states. In this case, we're going to use the hover state. All you need to do is select the hover option and click the create button. The instance will then be created. Now, while my instance is selected, I can normally use the divhunt editor here. And all the edits will be applied to this instance. For example, let's change the background color. After making this change, I can test it out to see the results. As you can see, when I hover over this button, its background color changes, just as we set it in our hover instance. Let's explore some other options now. For this example, I will select an input field placed in my form. Back in the instance menu, when I open the state dropdown, I can find a section dedicated to forms. Let's select the placeholder option and once again change some settings from the edit panel. We'll make the font size bigger and change its color as well. You can see that the placeholder of my input field has now adapted these properties. Now, let's move to this block section and explore another state. First, I'll select this looped tag. It's important for a tag to be looped for this state to work effectively. Then, I'll open the instance menu, access the state dropdown and navigate to the children section. Here, I'll select the anti-age child even option. To demonstrate what this does, I'll set the background color for this instance. You'll notice that all the tags which are looped and positioned evenly will be affected by this instance. To quickly mention it, in the state dropdown you also have some advanced states like before, after and other options. Now that we explained some of the states, let's direct our attention to the subject field. This field allows you to target all specific tags or classes within a desired tag. To demonstrate this, let's change all H2 tags on this page. To do this, select the body tag, open the instance menu and in the subject field, navigate to the global section. Here, you can select any tag you need. In this case, I will choose heading 2. After that, I can simply add new stylings. Let's increase the font size and change the font color. As you can see, all H2 tags now have these properties. This is because they're all nested inside the body tag where we set this instance. Having explored how the state and subject fields work, let's now combine these two options to create a hover animation. For this example, I imagine an animation that slightly rotates this arrow when I hover over this button. Firstly, I'll assign a class to this arrow for more precise navigation. Then I'll select the button and set the hover state on it, because I want this animation to be triggered when the button is hovered. After setting the state, I need to ensure that this interaction affects only the arrow inside my button. To achieve this, I can open the subject dropdown and under the children with class section, select my arrow by its class. This method ensures that only this specific tag containing this class will be affected by this interaction. Once this instance is set, I can click the create button and start styling this instance. As mentioned at the beginning, I want the arrow to rotate slightly, so I'll navigate to the effect section, click the plus icon and choose the transform option. Here, I need to set this property to rotate and input the desired value in this field. Now, when I hover over this button, you will see that hovering affects the arrow inside of it, just as I imagined at the beginning. If you feel limited by the options predefined by DivHunt, there's a solution for that. Let's say you want to target a specific tag, like the fourth card here. You can easily do this by selecting its parent, opening the instance menu and then switching to the custom option. Here you'll find a field where you can create your own custom instance. As mentioned, I want to target the fourth blog card. So in this field I can type A because all of these blog cards are links, followed by colon nth-child and in the brackets type number 4 to specify that I want my fourth card targeted. 
After this, I need to confirm by clicking on Create button, and my instance is ready for editing. To show you that this works, I will change the background color, and you can see that only the fourth card adopts these stylings. And that's how you can easily create custom states. And with this, we came to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Until the next time, happy building!